It's me again, Teacher Michelle. Today, we will learn about estimating the quotients of by one to two digit divisors. Let's say, for example, we have 1503 divided by 11. Our dividend is 1503 and the divisor is 11. Let's estimate the quotient. To estimate the quotient, follow these steps. Step 1. Round off the numbers to their highest place values or to a number that can be divided easily by the divisor without remainder. Let me teach you rounding numbers to the nearest thousand. Look at the given number, 1503. There are rules to follow when rounding off numbers. First, look at the digit to the right of the rounding digit. Next, if the digit is less than 5, do not change the rounding digit. Change all the digits to the right of the rounding digit to zeros. Last, if the digit is equal to or greater than 5, Add 1 to the rounding digit, then change all digits to the right of the rounding digit to zeros. Look at the given example. Here, the digit is 5. Therefore, add 1 to the rounding digit. So, 1 plus 1 equals 2. Change all the digits to the right of the rounding digit to zero. Therefore, 1,503 is rounded up to 2,000. 11 is rounded off to the nearest tens. Look at the digit to its right. Here, the digit is 1, which is less than 5. Therefore, 11 is rounded down to 10. Hence, the estimated quotient is equal to 2,000 divided by 10. Step 2. Divide the rounded number following the steps in dividing numbers of multiples of 10, 100, or 1,000. In dividing numbers in multiples, count the number of zeros in the dividend and divisor, then cancel them. Proceed to the operation. Let's write 2,000, then divide it by 10. Simply cancel one zero at the end of the numbers. Now, you can easily divide the number. Remember, a number divided by y1 is that same number. 200 divided by 1 equals 200. Always remember that to estimate the quotient of two numbers, round off the numbers to their highest place values or to a number that can be div divided easily by the divisor. Then, divide the rounded number using multiples of 10, 100, or 1000. That's all for today, kids. I hope you enjoy learning. See you in our next video. Bye!